We just want to be there to possibly save a life. That's why we get in EMS. In the EMS world, a lot of the first response teams that aren't tied to fire are not funded very well by local government and the surrounding communities. So they really have to go out and fundraise and do their own things. So with Sourcewell getting involved and assisting in some of the training dollars, I think it gives these organizations a chance to stay more proficient in what they do and also possibly recruit more people in because they can afford to get them trained. EMR personnel are required to go through a 40 to 48 hour initial class when they first start and every two years go through a 16 hour refresher class. And that costs money. So I partnered up with a few other people and we met with Sourcewell a few years back to develop a process so that Sourcewell could fund fire departments for their medical side training and first responder agencies for medical training for initial classes or refresher classes. I think it's easy. The money's there and it's actually easily accessible for them. In our region, and we're a little more rural than the St. Cloud area and those areas, a little bit more financially stable than some of our smaller townships in the rural Minnesota are. So within Sourcewell's region, I think that's why it's so critical for the funding and the benefits that come with it. I just want to emphasize the partnership with Sourcewell from the fire world and the EMS world has paid huge dividends over the last couple years with uh, agencies growing with more personnel, more people, having the ability to train those people. I can't express how important that is and how good it's been.